Gee, I sure hope there aren't any unforeseen circumstances that are going to pop up at the last second that are going to interrupt my perfect good morning intro. Good work on everything today. The next day. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Rangers Shadows of Almia. Flawless intro. Hi, good morning, Jenny. Barlow left earlier for Boyle Land. I thought it said Boring Land. He had to go in a hurry. Apparently, all the island's Pokemon went and disappeared. How is that even possible? It's troubling, but Barlow's on the case. I'm sure he could solve it. So for today, I'm One Day Barlow. You got that? So, let's not waste any time here. Today's the Ranger School's outdoor class. Barlow was asked to serve as the one-day teacher for the event, but he's gone off to Boyle Land, and he sent me a voicemail, though. Let Jenny do it, was his message, and he says to treat it as a mission. Jenny took on the mission, the mission, the mission. Are you getting sick of this on yet? Because I am not. Hey, that reminds me. I was the one-day teacher for the last outdoor class. Jenny, you were a student then. Now you're a teacher for a day. It was a really surreal feeling getting to this. I remember feeling really proud and fulfilled, like... Um, because when you're young, you play games a lot slower than you do when you're older, and it was just kind of surreal seeing that I was returning back to my roots and going back to where the game began. And now I was in the teacher position. It was something I wasn't really expecting to happen, but I already have a Doe Duo. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie, but now I'll have two Doe Duos. It's like a mega ultra Doe Duo. When I combine the two of them, then I'll have four heads. I'll have four heads? Okay, then. Let's go ahead and maybe we get a level up? Uh, not quite. But we can go ahead and ride a Doe Duo. So we're basically having all the other Pokemon ride on top of the Doe Duo as well. So basically we have a Doe Duo and a Turtwig and whatever else the fruit we had, a Staravia. All of them are just riding on top of Doe Duo as well as a trainer. Here we are back on School Road and we get interrupted. There, spin round and round. Ah ha 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 ha! Okay, now jump! Boing boing! Man, this machine's awesome! Make it do something more complicated! Well, alright, let's see. Fly while you're asleep! Wahaha! Ha, ha, how's that going to work? It's nothing like the old Gekirmo, eh? This Mimirmo machine's something else! It's a light and easy and t it's light and easy to tote around. I thought it said light and easy to totes around. It also has a hundred Pokemon commands. It's like they're advertising a toy for Walmart. How's this for our mini Miro mini Remo experiment? Pretend you're a sumo wrestler using only yoga poses. You still just walk hello. Glow, Ranger! How long have you been standing there? I know, we'll turn this into an opportunity. Let's demonstrate how great the Mini Miramo is with this noisy ranger. It would get on my nerves if we had to keep this a secret. I agree with what you're saying. Here, try entering this command attack. Attack while laughing uncontrollably. How does that sound? Wah! <laughs> I punched the wrong keys! Well, maybe that wasn't a lot. That was like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Cancel key! Hit cancel! Hurry, come on! Chief, it's too late! We'll have to muscle our way through this! They're just trying to push it into us to force the battle. Oh my god, this thing is amazing. I don't know how it didn't start a battle with them, because they touched it first, but whatever. Team Dim Sun's Crow Gunk is attacking! Let's see if we can... We use Turret Twig, of course not. So he's starting to poop out Poison Sludge. Can Dojo do it? Yeah, I guess Dojo could do uh, stuff like the Flying Assist, as usual. But yeah, let's see if we could catch this thing... Oh, jeez. Okay. Not quite. But now we're good. Okay. Short, sweet, to the point. Krogunk is ours. And that should give us a level up. Tch. Meddling ranger. Chief, let's bail out. Bailing out sounds okay to me, but where? That way is dead. That way, dead ends at the school. This way, it's that ranger. This way, it's that ranger. Oh, this way, it's that ranger. I know what senses are. Does that mean? That's what it means. 
They gotta swim for it. Unfortunately, they couldn't just blast off again. The Krogok appears to have bonded with Jenny. And just like that, we have yet another partner Pokemon, Krogunk. And it left for the partner farm without any choice in the matter, but Krogunk is one of the few partner Pokemon that is required to get throughout the main story. So it wasn't attached to any sort of side quest, it just joins us, which is really nice. I remember Krogunk being one of my more favorite partners to have, so after we get some time with Turtwig, I'm looking forward to spending some time with it. But for now, let's head over to the Ranger School. It's good to be back. Oh, is that you, Jenny? You must be here instead of Barlow. Thanks for giving us your time. Mission, teach at Ranger School. This should be an easy job, right? For a silent protagonist? Uh, hopefully. I assume we're going back to the old classroom. Um, hello, class, attention, duelists, students. Let's be in the staff for so we can go. Okay, great, awesome. Way to embarrass me in front of all the students before I even start my stinking lecture. Appreciate it. Love you, babe. Beedoof! I missed you, buddy. We, of course, have to capture Beedoof again because it's a school reunion. Let's go ahead and get it. Were we at like 30 HP for the Styler before? Now it's at 38? It must have been 36. No way we went up by 8 with just one level up. And I'm seriously going to get rid of one of the Doe Duo for a Bidoof. Because Bidoof is awesome in this game. Who am I kidding? Bidoof's awesome in every game. Uh, the staff room? I was never a staff member. I don't know where that is. Is it in here? Uh, there's the Ranger School. Yeah, the Ranger School inside of the Ranger School. Uh, I think that's the library. This is... Is this the staff room? So upstairs the dorms. Uh, yeah, this looks about right. This looks staffy. And here's the principal. Welcome back, Jenny. You graduated only a short time ago, so you understand how the students feel. We're all looking forward to an enjoyable outdoor class. This year, again, a graduate of our school returns to pass the knowledge... The torch of the ranger school's tradition is handed off again. It is gratifying to see. Today's outdoor class will be held in Ascension Square. If you've forgotten, Ascension Square is to the east of the schoolyard. His students have been looking forward to this for days. Well, so have I, actually. That goes for me, too, of course. Oh, by the way, you remember Mr. Kinkei, don't you? He's had to take a leave of absence for some reason. We have a new teacher in his place. His basement room has been taken over by students for their tests of courage. Am I tiring you with the school talk? Well, we'll see you later in front of the Pledge Stone. Seems that things are changing around here. Okay, quiet please everyone. We've all had nothing but sunny skies for outdoor class. It's like magic! This is Jenny, a graduate of our ranger school who is our one-day teacher. That's what is known as a ranger pose. Don't you agree it's cool? Each ranger has a special pose to reflect his or her personality and style. Those of you hoping to become rangers should consider developing your own. Next, outdoor classes main event, the question and answer session of terror. It's terrifying because I can't speak. Let the questioning begin. Did you get good grades at school? Oh, thank you. Yes or no questions are my forte. Uh, did I get good grades at school? I'll answer these like in real life. Uh, I was a pretty good straight A-B student, so yeah. Is that really true? Yeah, it's true. Stinking doubt. Jeez. Is your job busy? It certainly is. It must be because of all the strange incidents in the news. Have you ever seen a real Gigirmo? We've seen plenty and we've destroyed plenty. Wow, that's wicked. Hey, <laughs> are you in love with someone? Uh, maybe. Oh, maybe even a former classmate. Oh, I wasn't thinking about that, but mm, oh, look at that fierce blushing. You're so cute, Ranger. Have you captured more than 100 Pokemon? 
not in this universe, but in a different universe, I most certainly have. A lot more than that, even. I think you'd be kind of flabbergasted to find out just how many Pokemon I've gotten at this point. Wow, that's awesome! Is something bad taking place in the Almia region right now? In this situation, do I be honest with them, or do I uh, just ease their worries and let them know that everything's okay? I think the point of a Pokemon Ranger is to be prepared for trouble, so I think it'd be best if I was honest with them. I knew it. Is it true that the Rangers can't go home very often? It's kind of busy, but we do have... We kind of work on our own schedule whenever we have a mission clear that we could go and do whatever we want, but... Um... I don't know. I think it's been pretty easy now that we have Dodo, so I'm going to say no to that one. That's a relief to know. May I touch your awesome Styler? Uh, sure? I'm sorry. I can't bring myself to do it. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Uh, Ranger, do you- I, I apologize for them being uh, nervous and afraid to interact with me because I'm the cool one for once. <laughs> Whatever. Ranger, do you sleep in pajamas at night? Oh no, we'll have none of that. Are we all out of questions? Nobody has another question? I wonder what would send the Japanese version because that doesn't seem all that risque or inappropriate. But eh, maybe it does. Are we all done? Yoo-hoo, I have a question! Yeah, I have a question about Yoo-hoo's. Where are they stinking selling the canned versions? So I can never find them anywhere. I don't want to sip it out of a stinking box. I don't, that doesn't sound cool at all. I feel like a loser when I'm drinking a Yoo-hoo out of a box. Give me a stinking can, darn it. Dear Ranger, why did you have to mess with us earlier? Uh, that's not a yes or no question. I can't answer that. Oh, you don't have to answer that. We're just here for payback. Yeek! Bad guys! Everyone, please be calm. Everything will be alright. We have a ranger on our side. And nationwide. Getting our outfits dry wasn't easy. Who are you horrible people? I absolutely forbid you to lay a finger on my students. I absolutely forbid you to lay a finger on my students. Wow, what an inspiring words for you, the kitties. This lady's teacher's got spirit. She could be pretty feisty. Well, then how about we whip out that new toy of ours? This is getting kind of E10, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, oh, it's a mini Miro. That's what I wanted to hear, Chief. That ranger wrecked one, but we had another one. So, pop quiz, kitties. What do you think this is? Is it a Wii U? Bzz, time's up. It's our latest weapon, the mini Miro. Go, Carnivine. Humiliate that rotten ranger. Carnivine! Okay. Carnivine's always got a great voice. So we gotta capture two Pokemon, and I still can't do anything with Turtwig. So this would have been good to have a uh, Krogunk with, actually, because it's a poison type. Uh, hello, avoid that, avoid that. Keep on circling at the same time, and we're good. Two for the price of one. And somehow just me capturing the Carnivine makes the laptop explode. Yeah, we got schooled again. Get it? Because they're at school. Chief, let's bail again. We looked like buffoons. Again. <laughs> wow, you're so cool, Ranger. Thank you so much for everything today. You represent so much of our students. You left this tiny port of learning into the you left this tiny port of learning into the great wide sea of great wide sea that is the world. Our students look up to you as someone who stands for their hopes and dreams. I hope you'll return to our port even bigger from your worldly experiences. I'm going to become a Pokemon Ranger. I won't fail. I'm hoping to become a mechanic. I want to be like Elaine in Vien Town. I've helped the milkman a couple times. We've even got to see how a ranger battles criminals. The students aren't likely to forget this day ever. May I ask one last question, please? Is it fun being a Pokemon ranger? I had my doubts at first as to how this whole journey was going to play out. But I can honestly say that this is some of the most fun I've ever had in the world of Pokemon. I knew it! Please come again. 
Jenny, thanks to you, our outdoor class was both fun and thrilling. Jenny, I'm sure that you can overcome any challenges you face. You've convinced me of that. Thank you for being our one-day teacher. Thank you! Okay, class dismissed. Bring in the dancing lobsters. I've only just become a teacher, but I hope to raise rangers like you. You were truly inspirational today. Thanks for everything today. See you again. Uh, there is one last thing. May I be allowed a question? Chairperson Irma of the Ranger Union, is she in good health? As far as I'm aware, yes. Ah, very good. That's wonderful to hear. Oh yes, if you would like, please do visit our school and look around. Now I'll bid you farewell. Ooh, is there some love in the air between the principal and Irma? Because we can't have any characters exist in the same realm of each other without having a romance subplot? I really loved this part of the game when I first played it, and coming back to do it again, I ended up appreciating it a lot more than I thought it was going to. It was... It's kind of interesting seeing how this is the Pokemon game where you actually get to see the world around you grow and change along with you. Because there are a lot of the other main games where the characters all live in the same town, they don't ever move or do anything or change, they always say the same things, no matter how far you progress through the story. But this one, it was a moment that made the game and the world seem a lot more alive because there was this used to be our home base this used to be where we spent all of our time and we had all these friends that we made and we were in a completely different position for the first two hours of this journey but now that's completely changed we don't even visit this place anymore and all of our old friends are gone even some of our teachers are gone it's just a very it hits close to home as someone who just graduated and who went through a lot of of parting ways, a lot of situations that involve parting ways with teachers and classmates, and it kind of was difficult at times to say goodbye to them because I, at times, wasn't ready to say goodbye, and especially now that I've graduated entirely, now I'm the one who's bidding farewell. I don't know where life will take me, and if I'm going to see those people again. They really did mean a lot to me, and they were my world for that period of time in my life. But now we've all moved on. Perhaps our paths will cross again? But there's not really a guarantee, because their lives are moving on just as mine is. And... There's just no telling what you may find in the world, and who you may come across. I do think it's exciting to know that the person who may change your life may be someone you may not have even met yet. When I was getting reacquainted with this game, I thought I was starting to remember some of these characters, and remembering their importance to the story and I thought that they would be with me throughout this journey and it was a really nice feeling to see that I've had so many friends accompany me on all of these missions but they weren't the friends that I was expecting they were entirely new people who I grew closer with throughout this journey and I never would have known that if I didn't push forward with it so I'm happy to see where this journey has taken me and I look forward to seeing who else we may meet and who else we may reunite with as the journey progresses. So for now, let's keep doing what we've always been doing. And that's moving forward with no hesitation. Unless it's to ask for directions. I guess that's it for our mission. A very short day, but a very pleasant one and memorable as well. 
We got a new partner Pokemon. We got a magical disappearing Doduo. We got a reunion with some of our old teachers and our old home base, I guess you could call it. And now it's time to just head back and see how old Uncle Barlow is doing. I'll meet you back at the ranger base in Vient Town. I heard that Team Dim Sun made a surprise guest appearance. I just got word about that from Miss April. She said you kept everyone from harm. That's super! Mission clear! Have you seen this? Your pal Keith's making a name for himself. Fiora's Pokemon Disappear, Pokemon Hypnotizing Machine, Shadow and Fior Temple Hideout. Keith breaks up Team of No Goods. Kind of funny if that was the team name. We're Team No Goods! Probably the only thing funnier than Team Meanies. Do you feel like resting now? Uh, not quite. We might have some quests for us. You don't know what it is to be tired. I certainly don't. Let's see, do we have anything for us that we could do before heading to bed? We actually don't. So I guess we are gonna pull it in for the night. Next time on Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. It'll be another brand new day in the life of a Pokemon Ranger. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.